can see from the screen i have added my dynamic link so i've created my dyna dyma dynamic link sorry a free dynamic link domain so you can see mine is sketchly.page.link so if you don't have you can click on this add prefix and select the google provided domain name so now let's move over to sketchware now we move over to sketchware and do the programmatic part that is making the app itself okay so i'm assuming you have created your app with the package name same as the name the package name you use in your firebase console so and you have already connected your app to firebase so now i have two activities but i also need more activity that is my splash screen activity why do i need this i need it because I need to catch Firebase dynamic link as quick as possible. So I need to catch it as quick as possible. I'm making my launcher. I have to make it my launcher activity. So I have to make it my launcher activity. So then now we add the components. I'm going to add a component called a Firebase dynamic link component called DYN and then in my DYN I'm going to add two of this I'm going to add the two of them so in my splash screen let me just add a loading a loading UI and this so now in our own sources in our own sources we are going to add the following blocks in our own sources we are going to add the following blocks now i will share the i will share the blocks for easy usage we are going to add the following blocks with an intent component so i add the intent component to go to my main activity As this so I'm going to do this to go to my main activity for my splash activity and we're going to put put the link so we're going to put the link called key let me just call it key and then with this block as this so now what this does is to replace it with a link so my link for my app is the link to my app on, on play store so it's the link to my so that what we call the fallback url so replace it with yours your link link to your play store app websites so now the next thing we are going to do is in our moon activity so in our main activity our list view as user so when we get our data from firebase i'm assuming we get our data for firebase but in this tutorial what i use was get data from json so if you are getting your data from firebase sorry we are not done with our splash creativity we need to add this we need to add on start on start we need to add this block we need to add this block We need to add this block. We need to add this block. We 
we need to add this block and also in our own create place make sure you remember the link the link you created in your firebase console because we will be using it now we'll be using it now from here so the link we're using this block we're using this block and put the link here so you put the link so mine was sketchly as we saw dot page dot link then the scheme is https no matter your link name it's best you put https okay so since i'm making this project to suit that of so now in our main activity in our main activity since we are loading data from firebase so you see if we load data for firebase database all we just do is from our firebase database in our firebase database i'm assuming all we just need to do is is this and this so it's the same thing with this mine the only difference is mine is from local json why firebase is from online json so this part is not really important so now after our data has been loaded from firebase we are going to check if we are going to check if we are going to check Okay, so I created a string variable. I created a string variable called link. So what this link does is to save our post ID or our Firebase child key as the case may be. So they are the same thing. So I save it. If you remember, I pass it from our splash activity. So now I'm retrieving it here. After retrieving it, I'm not, when our data loaded from Firebase, I'm going to check if it is not empty. If it's not empty then what what I'm going to do is what I'm going to do now is to check check if the data from our firebase equals to the data that we saved to our link that is our firebase dynamic link so if it's equals we'll go to our view activity to view the specific data that the link was shared so now I remember I told us that this is the link to our app on Play Store website, link to our app, link to app or website. So that is what we call fallback URL. I'll, I'll show us where we can put it. So we are going to check if it's equals or rather, I don't even need of doing this. All we can do is if it's equals from here. So I no need of doing this twice since we've already done it once. If link now equals to our child key, remember I told us our child key is the post ID. Then we, we pass that specific data using this code, using this code to our list, to our next, to our view activity. So I created a normal variable called n to search the list. Okay. So now this is our view activity. This is our share button. So now I'm trying to retrieve the data, the specific data from our list map to our view activity using this code. So now we are going to add these two variables dyn and firebase auth. Why well, I did this firebase auth is just because of it will help us add some imports to prevent errors. Not that Firebase dynamically depends on it. So now, when our share button is clicked, these are the things we need to execute. So these are the things we need to execute. We put our link here. Our minimum version means the, the version of the app Firebase dynamic link will support. So if I put two, two, and a user that only have version one, clicks on the link 
that it will not refer the user to the app it will rather take the user to play store to update their app then catch id so this is also post id of we can call the firebase chat key this is the title the description then this is the link to app or link to app to app or website and then url so now this is our share button if something happens to you it toast the error thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and comment you can get the project on sketchly please anywhere you have issue please no hesitate to join our community and ask questions i will be there to answer you but personally dming me i don't really appreciate that thanks once more for watching please subscribe